Okay. So, um, this is the extension, uh, from what we talked about last time. Um, so I wanna like, uh, talk through the naive hyperbolic discounter and as well as the sophisticated hyperbolic discounter on question one and question two, um, F, D, and E. Okay, so I made up a, a sort of like smaller version of question one. Um, yeah, um, let's see, uh, we can like, get some intuition from more of like a simpler model on the naivety and sophisticated. Okay, so here I modify it a little bit. Uh, so uh, instead of like five days and uh, initial day of zero, uh, we have two day gym. Okay. So um, you, whether or not to go to the gym on day one, day two, and day three, it's not existent. Like for example, like on the weekend. Weekend. Two day gym. Okay. So um think about it like on Saturday, um you can make this decision of either going to the gym or not. Right? So if you go to the gym. Um, the cost of going to the gym would be minus 10 because at that day, um, you'll be uh, exhausted. And uh, yep, you don't get benefit until day two. Um, okay, so on day two, you get 20. And then if you exercise on Sunday, uh, which is day two, then uh, you'll have another minus 10. And then, yeah. And then on day three, um, because this is a two-day gym on the weekend, uh, you don't go to gym on Monday. So you get 20 units of utility benefit from from working at, um, on, working on day two. Okay, so let's see at day two. So on day two, your decision looks like, okay, whether or not I should go to the gym or well, go to the gym or not, right? So if you I go to the gym, so I will have to like have to pick this negative 10 utility and getting 20 units of benefit from day three. Okay, on day three, you don't make any decision. So no, if you haven't made any decision of going to the gym on day one and day two, so all your day three will be um, zero. So you will not go to the gym. Okay, so here's the exponential uh, discount utility function. And um, here's the hyperbolic discount utility model. So um, the exponential discount utility, uh, it's delta, uh, which is uh, the long-term discount rate. All right. And beta is um short run impatience and it discount everything tomorrow right um, okay so we have that down and let's calculate uh exponential discount utility so we have a delta of four or five so four or five
10 plus 405 over 10 plus 20 equals two, eight, ten, plus, sixteen, see that's four. <laughs> Six point four times two. We get twelve point four. If we are exponential discounter, uh, our utility at day one well equals to. Minus 10, that would be 10.4, right? So if we are exponential discount, um, discounter, uh, we'll go to gym all the time. Okay. Okay. What about hyperbolic discount? So if we are hyperbolic, we are at day one. Or it looks like this. Twenty over sixteen over sixty-four over one hundred, which is the exponential, and then we discount all of them by one half, which is the beta. Maybe I should switch side so yeah. it looks nicer. Okay. So here we get negative 10 plus this we got a a divided by a half, which is four. And here we got twelve point four. And 12.4 divided by 2 is 1.2. Mm, no, 6.2. So 6.2 plus 4, which equals to 10.2. Right. So if we are hyperbolic um, discounter, uh, we'll actually... <clears throat> Still, choose to go every day at time zero. Okay. Okay. So let's double check when. Well, not time zero, but um, on day one. What about day two? When day two arrives, would I actually go? Okay. So we have a negative ten plus. One half worth it over twenty. Yeah. Hmm. So this equals to equals to negative two. So actually when day two came, I would not go. So uh, well this person will not go. So uh, so this person uh, doesn't behave uh consistently from his decision from time, uh, from day one, 
All right. So on day one, this person decided to go throughout, right? On day one and day two. Um, so he can get the benefit from day three and the total utility, it's going to be some positive number, right? But when day two came, uh, this person will actually not go to the gym on day two. Uh, so this is a, a, a kind of like preference um, or inconsistency. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so now we have this. We know that in reality, um, this person will only go on day one and day two, um, this person will actually not go. And this is the inconsistency uh, between period one and period two. Okay, so let's talk about naivety. So what's naivety? So naivety um, is that uh, you have a full confidence in your future self that you are going to follow through with your decision, right? So for example, like I'm going to do my homework today or I'm going to finish my 727 project uh, before the spring break. Mm, I'm definitely going to do that, right? Uh, I have full confidence. But if I'm naive, hyperbolic, this counter, when the time arrives for me to actually do 727 project, when the time arrives, I will actually feel more pain to do that assignment at that moment, right? So I will push further and further, right? But the, the, the thing with naivety is in the beginning that I will have a full confidence. So my estimate, so if I'm naivety, and so my estimated beta equals to one. I have a full confidence that I will go to the gym every day. That's my estimate. But in reality, my real beta is equals to one half. Right? So I am by being a naive hyperbolic discounter, I over estimate my discount value and I'm being overconfident. So that's what naive hyperbolic discounter is. Okay, so what's sophisticated? So sophisticated is that you actually are close. Your estimated beta is actually close to your real beta. So you have a full knowledge of your um, discount, like long run discount and short run discount. You know that you're not going to the gym on day two, right? If I know that I'm not going to the gym at day two. Then, as day one, day one, this is day two. Oh, it's getting too messy. Uh, so, okay. Uh, okay. So, here's my two values, right? Uh, no. Point two. It's point two. Uh, so 
utility positive 0.2 and negative 2. Okay, so this is day one. This is day two. So if I'm a sophisticated uh, hyperbolic discounted, my, my estimated beta would be similar to our real beta. So if I know that I'm not going to the gym on day two, then I'm not getting the benefit right here. Let me see, let me draw it red. So if I'm not going to on day two, that means I didn't get any benefit from day three, right? As my, per my day one's perspective, I will have a negative number, right? Because that I know that I'm not going to gym on day two. So if I'm going to have a negative utility on uh, at, as my day one's perspective, then I would rather have a zero. I will not go into the gym. I will not go to the gym on the first place, like in the first place. Yeah. So that's the sophisticated hyperbolic discount. Yeah. Compared to the, the naive. So the naivety is that they are overconfident of their um, of their uh, 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 sort of like yeah on themselves uh, okay so that's that part so let's look at question F Suppose she's a sophisticated hyperbolic discounter. Now, there is there any combination of J and F that will allow the gym to make money from her? What if the gym was set a negative value of F? Hmm. Interesting, right? So let's go back from previously uh, so we come to the conclusion that we will not go into the gym right I think hmm. let me see Yep. So this is day zero, right? Day zero's perspective, and this is day one's perspective. Okay. That just makes it really way too big. So. So we found J equals to 2.42, right? So 2.42 is equals to J, right? So if that's on question E. So on question E, How should the gym set its price? So the gym should set its price at 2.42. Because uh, so J well equals to, or well, J is not, not equals to, it's a less and equals to our hyperbolic at time zero, hyperbolic utility at time zero, which is 
2.42, right? J must be less than 2.42 in order to have a positive utility value to, to, to sort of like um, lure that person to, to subscribe to my um, gym account. No, well, no, not gym account, uh, gym subscription. Yeah. So we, we got that out of the way. Now, let's take a look. What are the reasons for us to not go to the gym? Well, I mean, not for us, but for this person, particularly at day one. All right. So in day one, at day one's perspective. So day one's perspective, we went through this whole thing that we're here right now. It's either we go to the gym or we have this expected utility in the future, right? Expected utility all the, the days, whatever. The reason why we don't go to the gym on day one, when day one arrives, it's because that we have this negative utility, right? So negative 10 um, plus nine point something, we get a negative 0 0.2, whatever estimate, right? So in this question, in order for me to go to the gym on day one, someone has to compensate my pain when I'm in the gym in order to have a positive utility value, right? So in reality, um, we can set F as an incentive, right? To change her utility when day one arrives, we can just like give them 20 cents. Right. You can give them like a fixed account or a fixed amount, like two cents. Okay. Or for this person to go to go to the gym when day one arrives. Okay. Um what if the gym was sent negative value of F? Okay. So is there any combination of J and F will allow the gym to make money from her? No, because she wouldn't go to the gym, right? So if you are a sophisticated hyperbolic discounter, which is um, the small, tiny example that I explained, right? So in this case, if I don't go to the gym on like if I don't go to the gym on day two, then there's no no sort of there's no extra benefit for me to go on day one if I'm not going to on going to the gym on day two, right? Sophisticated hyperbolic discounter it means that I know my true value of beta. <clears throat> right. I can imagine myself in the future. What would I do when the time arrives? Right. So that's the part of the backwards induction. So you need to see the future first. Right. If in the future that there's no way that I will go to the gym on day two, then on day one, if my day two didn't go to the gym, then this part is gone, right? I will, on day one, if I know that I'm not going to the gym on day two, so on day one, I know I'm going to have a negative utility as a whole. So therefore, I will not go to the gym 
because I have a negative 10 and I know my true value of uh, discount rate. Uh, and this is end up to be two, four, eight. So negative 10 plus a, that's negative two, right? So on day one, oh, wait, am I just like looking at something really wrong? So here, like 20, like if I didn't go to the gym on day two, that means I have a 20 utility. Right, so 20 utility, about five, we got four, 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 16, 16 divided by two, that's eight. Yeah, so we got negative two. If I know that I'm not going to the gym on day two, on day one, my expected utility in the future or the total utility combined, it's negative two, right? So therefore, comparing negative two or don't go to the gym with zero utility, I would be much prefer to not go to the gym on day one. Right. So that's 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 the sophisticated hyperbolic discounter. So in this case, yes, um, there's no combination of J and F. Uh, that will, hmm? <laughs> well, there is a combination of J and F, right? But there is no, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Apology, I read the question wrong. Um, yeah, there is combination, right? As we said that, okay, this negative 10, it's the pain that we have from work workout. And then this is the expected utility from the future because I, uh, at day one, when day one arrives, I just need this little bit push for me to get over it, get over the day one. And I need a little bit more push from day two. And I need a little bit more push from day three. And I need a little bit more push from day four and day five. Right. If I have that extra nudge for me to overcome that short-term uh, impatience, then maybe, yeah, maybe that <laughs> my gem will make money. <laughs> uh, but in, in this case, um, it's not likely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because uh, let's, let's take a look at day five. Now, how, so, e, uh, no. H day five. So what's my day five look like? My day five like look like negative ten. Then we're plus thirty over what half? And I think the beta and delta is both f, both one half. So divided by four. Okay. So. 30 divided by 4. That's such a such a such a such a such a So, uh, <laughs> as a gym, I need to pay him, um, two and two dollar and fifty cents, two dollar and fifty cents. Right, I need to pay him two dollar fifty cents in order for this person to go to the gym at day five. Right, 
and I probably need to pay something around two dollar at day four. I need to pay something like around maybe two dollar, less than two dollar on the yeah, you know, so on and so forth, to have this little bit of incentive to push. Um, this person to go to the gym, well, this sophisticated person to go to the gym every day. Okay, but you wouldn't really make a profit okay? because two dollars and fifty cents that's that's more than my more than my j my j is like 2.42 yeah. so um yeah there is some sort of combination of j and f and, um <laughs> Okay, so um, for question E, uh, because we know that uh, that on period two that we're not gonna follow through, right? So because we have this like uh discount like beta discount factor uh over the future. Uh, we would rather consume more on period one, right? Um, so our saving is gonna be a lot less, uh, so we can maximize our utility, um, uh, on day one. 